Hey guys, what's up? Back here, and uh, thought I'd do a quick little video on these uh, new uh, header gaskets I got from my uh, Bronco. 351 in the Windsor, 302. Work either way. Um, this is actually what I normally use. I normally use the Idle Rock 727s, but I don't know what it is, but with this pair of headers I have on my uh, Bronco, I can't seem to get good at seal. I, I, there's some kind of exhaust leak. So I don't know if I have a hole in my header, or these things just suck, but I've tried a couple different kinds of gaskets. Can't get it to seal up correctly. It sounds like it, you know, with my uh, my uh, Steelman hearing or uh, Steelman uh, the engineers. And uh, so, that I give these things a shot. From what I read on the forums, these are supposed to be like the best gaskets you can get. They're pretty expensive. I think they're like almost forty bucks. I'll put a link in the description where you can get them. But the the Taylor. And they're aluminum. And Percy's Seal for Good aluminum reusable flange gaskets. Um, 221, 302, 351. Okay, so pretty much small block Ford. All right. Um, special dead soft aluminum conforms to flange. Make an excellent seal. Great for use with headers that are removed frequently. Solid metal gaskets, not blow out, can be port matched, very reusable. Well, I'm, my only concern with the aluminum is that I live down here at the beach and the salt air might just destroy these things. But um, another thing, what I was um, reading online is that because they're sort of like concave and they're kind of like a, they sort of act like a, uh, what are those called? The uh, lock washers. Yeah, I mean, we're kind of locks it in place so the header bolts won't come loose. But I've never actually really had a problem with that too much, so I just don't know what the deal with the getting good seal on my uh, thing is. So um, actually, I do have my headers are weren't cheap. They were like like well, I mean they weren't expensive either. They're like four hundred bucks. They originally were. Uh, I'll show you in a couple seconds, but they originally were uh, uh, ceramic coated. I can't remember if I got them at Wild Horses or where I got them, but they were for a three fifty one Windsor. You know, a Bronco with a three fifty one Windsor. Um, I do have a one-inch body lift, but they they are pretty tight. Yeah, you know, man, we're against the engine and the uh, frame right there, so they're really really hard to get out. But with the, with with the, I usually have to lift the engine to get them in and out, so very very difficult. But oh yeah, another thing I was gonna say, I do actually like how um, these gaskets right here actually have this, and these don't. So I can sometimes with this I can just slide a new gasket in there without having to fully take off the headers. I can leave the last two bolts on, pull their header out a little bit, and slide in a new gasket. Um, but with these, I'm not going to be able to do that because there's no like little slip thing there. So, Alright, so let me uh, open the engine compartment up and I'll show you what I got to do. Yeah, it sucks. I have to actually, dis I don't have to totally take the header off. I have to like loosen it up in the, in the back, you know, where it uh, connect at the collector so I can actually move it around. So, Alright, so get started here. Alright guys, just walked out to do my header video and look at that. <laughs> it's coolant, so that's not a good sign. Fuck, just another thing I gotta fix. Alright, so I'll deal with that later. I mean, that doesn't seem like an extreme leak, but... <sighs> it's nothing obvious. Well, that's not this video, so... Yeah, I didn't mean to cuss. <laughs> All right, so um, there they are. Those are my headers. So what I did is I painted them uh, like black over the actual uh, because these things they were still rust even if they're ceramic coated. So it's like and uh, yeah, they are a tight fit down in there. And uh, yeah, there's some kind of I mean, I even like I said I have the copper seal. Um, uh, silicone trying to get that to, to help you know like I said I really don't know if it's actually a leak somewhere in between the here the like where the, the flange connects to the actual header tube or if it's actually like the gasket but when I did that on one of the other videos I did like the the test it it, it, it did like a it was actually leaking out like it was like water back here so yeah it was actually leaking like like a foam it was foaming from the from the flange there all right, and there we go. All right, I 
fix that wire too, I guess. Air compressor went on. But this gives you a better look and how tight of a fit they are down in there. So, all right guys, get this thing off and get it going. All right, back here. So, got the header off. Header gasket's down there on the ground. Oh, I'm gonna come back my wire wheel. Get this totally down to like bare, flat, clean metal. I can never really, I don't know if I can, I always seem to have a good mating surface. I don't know, I mean, there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a little, something down there, just oil. I did have an oil leak there on the, on the thing for a while, on the uh, valve cover gasket. But yeah, this, yeah, it does seem like it's kind of all the way through, and it's almost like it's burning oil, you know? Like you can see like the oil right here. So I don't know. It's going through there or not or what. Uh, okay, so. All right, we'll try these new caskets. Get them on. I'm cleaning all the surfaces up. And I'll just show you to bolt it up and we'll test it and see what happens. All right, back here. So I used a little acetone right there. And I just rubbed every surface down. I'm just trying to get anything that might be possibly raised off of there. You know, everything. I want this thing to be shiny. So, yeah, these are Edelbrock heads if you're wondering. Um, all right, so, yeah, I actually tried Pro Comp heads over the years. You know, I think I had, this is my third 351 that I have in this car. And uh, originally it was a 289, but, yeah, I had Pro Comp heads, man, they fucking, I shouldn't cuss in these videos. I think they usually mark it. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, what was I gonna say, they, they're usually offset. The, the, the poles are not right for the roller rockers. Just, it, they just seem, generally, they're not drilled right or not tapped right and just, nothing seems to line up correctly. At least, at least not 100% like the Edelbrox do. I mean, the Edelbrox, you know, lined up perfectly from, from out of the box. So, okay, cool. I'm gonna put that back on and uh, see what happens. All right, it's interesting looking gasket here. See that right there? Yeah, it's like multi layer. It's very soft, so I want to be be really careful with this thing. So I don't know. It doesn't say on the instructions which the, you know, there's two different sides. You have the the pressure side and the flat side. But I'm thinking this would probably go against the headers. I I, I don't know. It doesn't say if I should go this way, or this smooth side against the heads. I don't know. I mean, it seems like this would almost bite into the aluminum. Put it this way. But it seems like you would want to do it that way. I don't know. Like I said, it doesn't, doesn't say. So, I guess I'm going to try it this way. Alright. Alright guys, head that back in. I actually had a lot of confidence in this. This looks like it has a good, good seal. But I, I think when I was cleaning the gasket, I think it was leaking from the bottom of the down here at this uh, number three cylinder. So don't know for sure, but that's sort of like where it came, seemed like it was coming from, but I didn't see any like any black pattern, you know, like I didn't see any obvious exhaust leak because I put my scope down there. Let's take a look. But, all right, so I'm gonna get this thing uh, finished up and uh, fire it up, see if it makes any difference. All right guys, fire it up. Kinda getting dark out. Yeah, this side is actually super critical because my actually my wide band O2 sensor is on this side. And I pretty much controls all my fuel injection, so yeah, definitely sounds quieter, so had a little bit burn off there, just kind of smoke a little bit. I do, do need to go back and uh, retorque these once it's uh, been heated up a couple times. But uh, yeah, you can see it's starting to smoke. So um, okay, I'm gonna let this thing run for a little bit, and uh, yeah, it, it already sounds quieter, so, but uh, awesome, awesome, so yeah, hopefully that works, we'll see, Percy's.